Right then, welcome back. Today we are we're back on the endurance races. Yay, lucky me, we pop a balloon. Um Soul of Endurance, five endurance races, 40 minutes each at various iconic tracks around the world. And the first one is at Brands Hatch on 750 endurance bikes of the 80s and 90s. Aren't we just very lucky? I didn't know what to go for, had a quick look through and settled on the GSXR 750 because I wanted to use that and the FZR and I thought that would be the better choice for Brands Hatch. I don't have the setup, I'm sorry, my hard drive recorded 11 minutes of motorbike noises and the opening screen. So I'm sorry. It's pissing down with rain. Um, I didn't qualify as usual. I just used it to set the bike up. And so we're starting from the back of the grid. It's very wet and it's incredibly slippy. And the AI are, well, they've had their dick juice this morning, for the want of a better phrase, because there we go, straight off. And... Yeah, they were they were certainly on it. It was very, very slippery. It took a little bit of getting used to. Into Certes, a little bit too quick. Just a tiny touch on the brakes and I'm off. And the front tyre was getting nice and warm. I thought the back tyre was going to be the problem because it was freezing cold. But yeah, the AI weren't taking any prisoners today. It was going to have to be quite a forceful, um, deliberate move to get up the inside. Um to get through so start lap three we finally caught somebody up end lap three we are catching a gaggle of riders um, so elbows out escort them to the edge of the track or whatever phrase we want to use I was very concerned that the leaders were already 10 seconds up the road there's not a massive gap in performance across the bikes they're all pretty close the conditions are a bit of a leveller um, the bike had no grip, especially on the rear end. As soon as I was getting on the gas, it was all over the place. So, it was, yeah, it was hard work getting back through them. I mean, I thought I was going to be down there again, just just touching the back end of, of the bike in front. But we got there, just, it took a bit of patience. There was a rhythm to find on the bike. It liked certain things. It did not like getting stuffed into corners on the brakes. It was very much a, a brake turn accelerate kind of bike there wasn't a massive amount of carrying corner speed but i mean four laps in seven six seven minutes in we're slowly working our way back to the front um again the only issue being um i'm not really taking big chunks of time um five laps in we're still nearly 10 seconds behind i am not getting any closer to the leaders and the bike is is starting to get that little bit of a wobble that some of the stuff with shorter wheelbase does um, when you're just going outside of its comfort comfort zone. So yeah, it was a case of head down, um, trying not to let the AI do stupid stuff like that, just fire into the side of you. Um, but we were getting there. It just it just took a bit of time. Um, my my innate desire to be at the front and be setting the pace and, and running away from everybody just I there was no room for that on here I mean if the AI hadn't crashed in front of me off the start I might have been able to uh, to get to the front and work on it but 10 minutes in 6 laps and we've took a mighty 7 tenths of a second out of the leaders um, so I've got one eye on that I've got one eye on on the weather it's still raining still lashing down with rain front tyre is getting warm but the rear tyre's not, which again makes no sense to me. And there's that wobble again. Um, I was very worried about that wobble affecting the braking um, into, into Paddock Hill Bend, but it didn't seem to get that too bad. Um, 15 minutes in, we run wide, it stopped raining, and I get flicked off, which puts us from third back down to fifth. Um, as the conditions were getting drier, the bike was getting faster. My pace in relation to the leaders there was a, a marked step up there was a noticeable increase in my ability to take chunks of time out of, time out of them um, I mean that was a bit of a naughty move a little bit of um, a bit of fair in barging um, getting him out of the way um, 20 minutes in we come past the pits we go from third up to second the track's really starting to dry out now the sun's coming out ambient temperature's going up so 
we um, yeah we're making good pace lap later past the pits into first I've got 18% fuel left so we've done 23 minutes on on 80 odd percent of fuel I was gonna run as long as I could let the track dry out as much as possible I did not want to be on this slightly greasy track on slicks because I just didn't have any confidence in this bike being able to generate heat and generate grip so 25 minutes in we've done 17 laps we're nearly out of fuel tires have done all right they've not not worn out considering the rain tires I went for a medium front to give me the support and I went for a soft rear for the grip um, I went for about three quarters of a tank of gas I was again panicking I kept looking at them streaming past me as I'm sat in the pits the pit lane's ridiculous there's the line the white line you go past for the pit speed limiter but for some reason the AI just the way they've programmed it it doesn't want to get let you out until until the last minute so we've got what 23 seconds the Chinese rider who's leading is going to go into the pits keep an eye on the rider in front into Clark Curve he bends it into the gravel so we go from fifth to fourth and then we come past the pits and we go from fourth to second the two riders in front have gone in the pits so that leaves us the Japanese rider and it took a long time to catch him I mean we are now 35 minutes into this race 23 laps we've got a similar level of fuel left we're on the same tires a medium and a soft he's on a nicer 750 than I am and he was quite quick there was a bit of effort um, a bit of effort in getting past him and I'm overloading the front the front tires running nice and yellow the rear tires cold so the setup it just needed a bit of balance moving towards the rear um, but I didn't see the setup anyway so it doesn't matter um, and it like I say he was fast it took a um, it took a genuine effort to get past him I mean he's running on the right then he's moving across to the left then back to the right again which he can do what he wants I get that he can run where he likes but there was very little consideration for for little old me trying to get past him and it's going dark just to just to add more more misery to this um, rather difficult race but time's up last lap we've got a half second lead we've got plenty of fuel and it's been yeah it's been interesting I'll I'll shut up and I'll leave you to watch the last lap in peace done it's done I would highly recommend not using that GSXR 750 I would use a different bike it's all right it's not great there's faster 750s that you can use the race was quite difficult mixed conditions you start off wet we go from wet through damp to dry to the dark so yeah interesting one but it's done first one's done four more to go and we'll get them done so thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, whatever takes your fancy, and fingers crossed, I'll see you next time. Stay safe, peace.